tell you what, Andy, this looks like a pub. It does look like a pub, Matt. It's not been recommended. It wasn't in the comments, but we've stumbled across it. I believe there's a dartboard or two. Well, it says traditional pub and local, which to me screams dartboard and hot pot. Shall we go and find out? Let's have a look. Now today, I'm, I'm sure you do this at home already, but what I'd like you to do is just play along at home a little bit, as me and Andy are sort of going round and giving out these scores. From the footage we are providing you with, just make a note of your scores and pop them in the comments down below. Yeah, see if you agree with us or disagree with us, let us, let us know. And we are already prepping for Series 2. We've still got a couple of episodes left of Series 1, but we're prepping for Series 2. So if there's anywhere that you think we should definitely be going, be sure to drop that in the comments too. Also, don't forget, this is a very interactive thing. If you think there is a category you would like us to address, let us know that in the comments section as well. But for now, let's get into the British line. Let's do it. Okay, so measurements. Let's have a look at the measurements. Gonna do the height of the board first. Take measure in the middle. And start pulling that down. Andy, stop, 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 stop. Remember, our viewers can't see that you've already done this bit. They just see you doing this bit. So, yeah. what we need to do is yeah. we need to put the dart in the board first, put it in flat so it allows it yeah, to stick over ledge. the face of the lid. Yeah, there's a We've spotted it. Okay. okay. And then we put it on the back of the flight. What height are we looking for again, Matt? Five foot eight. Oh, put you on the spot there. Okay, I've got to say, it's absolutely perfect. I'm, I'm pushing that down into the carpet, which would be at where you're going to be at the hockey. That's absolutely perfect. Fantastic. Okay, so then if you can pop that in the middle, I'll do the length. Take the hockey out so I can get it exact. Okay, now I think I'm just a little bit short, just a tiny weeny bit short there, uh, but not much. And the height was perfect, so 8 out of 10. Dark board condition, and as always, what have we walked into? There's no match boards being put up, anything like that. We always rate this as what we've walked into. So, Matt, what have we walked into? Absolutely fantastic. Really, really good condition. I don't think this board's been up long. We can see it's been turned once. One, because of the branding yep. and, the, and the play here. And then another time here. I think they're doing it in quarters. So this is only the third time this board's been turned. Really good condition. A little bit of bulging here. Maybe yeah, a bit. maybe they could have turned it a touch sooner, but that's what I think it is. I think what this is is this been up for a couple of weeks, and then the the locals come in before match day or something and turn it. And maybe if it was turned a little bit sooner, we wouldn't have any of this sort yeah, of. Yeah, maybe. But a high wear. quality board, bladed wire, plenty of life. I, I can't not give that an eight. The Oki. Now, here's an interesting one. I've walked in and we've got a, it's a removable hockey, but it's, it's, a, it's firmly fixed there. I can kick up to the hockey. However, when I kick up to the hockey, it's moving about a centimetre in there. What they've done is they've literally just screwed holes in the floor. There's nothing holding it in position, so it is moving. That being said, it is still a fixed hockey. It's not a piece of tape on the floor. So I'm still going to give that 7 out of 10. Four. Lighting. I've walked in here and I've thought, that board's really well lit, but where's the light ring? Do you know outside, before we came in, it said traditional British pub. Yeah. This is a traditional lighting system. It's actually up on the roof, which is good because it means there's no... Obs 
obstructions in the way, like yeah. with the light rings. But normally when you put them up on the roof, you get a bit of shadowing, unless you have a three spot. Up here, we've actually got eight. They've gone to some extreme effort up here to ensure that there is no shadowing on the board. This is one of the most impressive displays for lighting I have ever seen. I have to agree. They've even hidden the wiring and everything. It's like those lights have been put there specifically for this board and nothing else. And eight of them? I've played on the biggest stages, World Championships, UK Open, Players' Championships, Euro Tours. I've never seen a board lit up as well. This is 10 out of 10 for me. Wow, that's impressive. Okay, so scoreboard. This is always an interesting section, Matt, because people have laptops, iPads, chalk, whiteboards, TVs, all sorts of things. I can't see anything. Could you chalk on here? I don't think you can. There's no remnants of any chalk. It doesn't look like the, the right paint. So I don't think so, no. Ah, but I've done some research. OK. And what they do on a match night in here is they actually use the electric socket below Got and they sit with a laptop and computer system to mark the board. So for match night, great. But if we've just walked in off in the street, what are we going to do? We have to use our phone, aren't we, or something like that. That's really disappointing for scoreboard. It's going to have to be a 1 out of 10, Matt. What? surroundings plenty of space around the board i mean the tables aren't ideal no match day, i think they would be gone but we'll move that to match day experience mm. for now look if we played a game and we just said look we'll walk off to the left instead of the right then there's plenty of room you know it's carpeted there's tables to put your drink on yeah, we might just score it down a little bit because we found it with tables here and they are in the way. You and I like to walk off to the right, so they're in the way. But well, we sort of got to adjust the game because we know exit right. If yeah. that, you'd have something else to think about. So. Yeah, but everything else is nice. Like I say, tables, carpet, you know. Do you know what else I like? The space, like in terms of a walkway. A lot of the times you'll find a dartboard that sort of when you're standing behind you have to move to let people go past yes plenty of space here plenty of space in. behind the hockey as well so go on i give this one to you Matt. i think i'll put it behind my back you put yours there and okay. then we'll reveal it at the same time yeah okay ready go go seven that's seven. Oh, nice yeah. <laughs> okay guys so my reputation precedes me and by the, the fit of the shirt, you know, this is the bit that I like. So, I'm at the bar. What do the locals drink here? Worthington's. Worthington's. I'll have a pint of the Worthington's Cream Flow R Smooth Ale, it says. So we'll see what that's like. The rest of the bar, I know they don't serve food here. So that's the first thing. But there's snacks available. Lot, lots of snacks. Have we got port scratchings? Are they available? No port scratchings. Going to have to be marked down for that one, unfortunately. But plenty of lagers, a couple of bitters on there. Actually looks kind of quite nice, that does. Thank you very much. I'll have a quick slurp of that. I know I'm going to be getting some grief now from you uh, bitter drinkers saying I should have let it settle, but that actually is really, really creamy and really easy to drink. Overall for the bar, Unfortunately, the food let it down a bit. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So I've had a few throws now. And throw perception is a weird one because I really like the light in here. And, and I'm happy with the hockey. But it's just something that it just doesn't suit me. Now, normally when you get a cabinet like this, it makes the board feel deeper into the wall. I'm not quite getting by that, but I know that's what you're getting. Maybe the cabinet, maybe just the board feel a bit sunken. Maybe that's it, yeah. Let's just have another throw. And I don't, it doesn't like feel like it's high or long or anything like that. It's just not giving me that perfect vibe, that's all. But the thing is with the cabinet, it sort of gives you two levels, doesn't it? Your eyes see this and then you've got that deeper set. Yeah. Which can often just make it feel a little bit off. The other thing, I like the carpeted floor, this side of the hockey, protect the darts, but 
I mean, it, it's normally a really good thing to have a nice soft carpet, but yeah. just a little bit spongy underfoot. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. What do you think for your rate for this one, Matt? I'm torn between an eight and... I'm going to go eight. OK, eight it is. I'd imagine if this was a match night, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. No, we're too close, aren't we? I mean, you can almost take the darts out of the board from here. These would be gone. Yeah, tables, I think, would be pushed to the side. That would open up this space nicely so you could exit the hockey left or right. Plenty of space in here. As I mentioned before, there's loads of corridor room behind there, so no one's going to disturb you while you're throwing. I think you'd have a really good undisturbed throw here. Yeah, I do. And, if, and, and I think if they move these tables, probably they do move them over there so that people have got a great viewing angle, but they're absolutely not in the way. We've we both played in venues where people are getting in the way all the time. There's loads of room behind the hockey. These are out the way. Exit left or right. Should we say low footprint is the way to put it? A low footprint in the hockey space. We know everything's right and we like the conditions and everything. I think on a match day... I mean, when I walked in here, I went, this is a bit of me, and I, I stand by that. And this might be quite personal because it's to my taste, but I can't not give this nine. Yeah, OK, that's a little bit high for me. I like the fact that you're tucked away, there wouldn't be anybody sat here. There's nothing worse than when you're throwing and somebody's catching your eye line. Nobody's going to be catching your eye line. So I like that. I just think there's something that could maybe be improved. So I, I, I'm going to have to put my foot down and say, hey, Matt, I'm sorry. What could be improved? What, what would you improve? No, that's a very good question. But if you I think, can't answer that, it's nine. No, because... It's nine. No, it's an eight, because I think you could only get 15 people sat around, and when we play matches, we're used to 100. So where are the rest going to go? Who's going to want to watch you play darts? Hell, maybe not these days, but they might want to watch you. But 15 <laughs> people viewing is not enough for a Super League game, so it's a solid eight and no more. Now you can score it an eight, Andy, because the match day experience has just been ruined. Why? Because we're sat in front of the board. We are indeed. I was expecting candles, actually, when we sat opposite each other like this, Matt, but you haven't brought them today. I brought some darts, though. Got them from behind the bar. OK. And actually, we've got a nice set of tungsten, stems, intact, gri ring grips, which some people like, some won't. The flights are actually not in terrible condition. And there's even a couple of spares in this nice leather wallet. OK, but you're going to use those. What am I going to use? That could be the problem. We've only mm. got the one set, so we're going to have to pass them backwards and forwards. So, Not the end of the world, because they're good quality, but not ideal. Shall we give them a throw before we score it? Yeah, I think so. It's that delay, isn't it, there? Because yeah. if you've got to mark your score and then I get the darts, that's... Yeah, and that's also if your hands are in. sticky, I'm going to get them back and be a nightmare to play with. If you've got beer on your hands or something like that, so that's not ideal, is it? Or would you? Right, so I'll get the darts out. Let's say I was marking the board. Would I, would I mark your... So if you throw the darts and ah. if, if I marked your score, would that be quicker to then... Uh, I don't know. I think it's all a bit tricky, to be honest, with one set of darts. It's, it's not ideal, is it? It's such a shame, because they're good quality, too. And so they fly straight at the mind. 26. So. <laughs> and then I'll take them out, and then if you... Yeah, and now I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm going here to mark for you. Yeah, 11. So now what happens? Oh, okay, so that, that, yeah, now I take them off you, so we don't really know what we're doing, do I we? think it brings it down quite a bit. I mean, great it's set, shame. but we could have just done another set. I think because of that, do we go six? Yeah, I mean, two sets of them, I'd be going eight or nine, so oh, should it not nine. be half of that? I think there's enough there that we can deal with it, and the average person coming in, I think it's mainly because of how we expect to play darts. Okay. So I, I think six is fair. Six? OK, we'll go with six. So we disagreed on quite a few points there, which is quite interesting because I want to know what our viewers think. Did they agree more with the harsh reality of Andy or are they more on side with loves everything, man? Yeah, you're far too soft, aren't you, sometimes? But, uh, and we're getting far too close, by the way. Knees are touching there, Matt. Don't get that close to my missus. So, um, but did we agree on everything? No, we didn't. But I think we came to some conclusions, quite a lot of conclusions about this place. 
we gave it a 10 in one category. Has to be absolutely special for that. Mm. You know, have you agreed at home? Have you given any 10s? Absolutely, and the, the thing is with this venue, I think if this was Series 2, with some of the categories we're potentially looking on there, I think it may have scored even better. Yeah, there's a couple of things we chatted about, isn't it? That it's got a couple of extras that maybe we haven't given a category to yet that could be, uh, that could be worth it for Series 2. But uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe, guys, and get in the comments below because we absolutely love doing these and we love you watching them. Overall, I would play my darts here. I absolutely would. I think we and could spend a few hours here, couldn't we? Let's not forget there is another board in the other room which we haven't talked about at this video, but that seems to be more like for the locals and people to have a throw on where this appears to be a bit more... Matchy. matchy. A bit more match board. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, overall, we're going to give it...